All right. Okay, so let's start out in mountain pose. And in mountain pose, we have two fists in between the knees. Our heels are directly under our knees. And I like to have a yoga mat down so that I can feel secure. My feet aren't sliding. Um, if you don't have a yoga mat, then just make sure that whatever you have on the floor or on your feet is a little bit more sticky. Take your shoulders and bring them right over your hips. So generally we have to sort of sit back a little bit into the sits bones. You don't want to sit forward, you want to sit up. The head is reaching up toward the ceiling. The arms are down by the side. Turn your palms to face the side of the room. And starting with your feet, feel your heel connected, both heels, the balls of the feet. Even see if you can press the, press the arches down a little bit. And then lift up all your toes and place them all down. Keep the feet wide, the toes wide, excuse me. And then we're going to... Together, inhale shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale them all the way back, pressing together the shoulder blades and then dropping it down. Feel your shoulder blades as they drop down your back. Do that again, inhale shoulders up. A big inhale, fill the lungs all the way. Bring the shoulders back as you hold your breath and then exhale. Release everything out. And one more time, inhale, fill the lungs. Fill them a little bit more. Hold it as you bring your shoulders back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and exhale, the arms come down. Keep your sternum lifted. Keep your belly pulled in so it's as if your belly button is pulling in towards your spine. And you don't have a full pelvic tilt and you don't have a straight pelvis. It's somewhere in between. So your tailbone isn't reaching straight down to the floor. It's reaching sort of where the floor and the wall meet, right? So you tuck it just a little bit. And now we're going to inhale and bring the arms all the way up and overhead. And when the arms reach the top on the full inhale, I want you to hold your breath, drop those shoulders down, turn the palms out, and exhale everything out of your lungs. Completely empty the lungs. We're going to do that two more times. Turn the palms out. Inhale the lungs. Keep inhaling till the arms reach the top. Hold it at the top. Look at yourself. In your video, if it's on, make sure you're, the eyes of your elbows are alongside your ears. Drop your shoulders. Exhale. Turn the palms out. Everything comes out like someone's pulling one arm and the other and down. And one more time. Turn the palms out. Inhale the arms up. Hold it at the top, drop the shoulders, the arms come up, the shoulders always stay down, turn the palms out, exhale everything down. We're gonna inhale the arms up again. This time we're gonna keep the arms lifted. Now, some of you might want to stand to do this. I think it's safe for everyone to stand to do this. Okay, it's not a balance. But what I want you to do is plant your feet, hip distance apart, feel the heaviness in your feet, and then reach your left arm up like you're climbing up a rope. Now reach the right. So you're pulling up and out of your torso, right? Think about all of those organs in your abdominal space. You've got your stomach. You've got your intestines, large and small. 
your spleen and your liver, right? And we sit a lot and we constrict them. So this is opening that up. So reach and reach. Think about the kidneys having more room. Reach from one side to the other, like you're climbing. Do this a couple more times. Feel yourself reaching up and one more. Awesome. Now arms up, turn the palms out and exhale. Brings you back down to your seat. Make sure that seat is right under you. And come back to seated mount, sitting up nice and tall, arms out to the side. We're gonna keep the right arm down and the palm facing in. And we're gonna lift the left arm straight up, inhaling as the arm lifts, exhaling as the right arm slides down the right side of the chair and the left arm comes up and over the ear opening up the whole left side. Okay, so think about that. Your left kidney, your left lung, right? Making room, dropping down a little bit more. Good, and then flip that palm, inhale back up and reverse. The right arm comes up, the left arm slides down and the right arm hinges over. Your shoulders are in alignment. There's not, the right one is not in front of the other. It's on top of the other. Breathing in and out in this position, thinking about the whole right side now, right? So your right lung, your right kidney, your liver, making more room there, giving it more space. And on the other side, constricting, which is really good as well. One more inhale, exhale, both arms up, join them at the top and pull that down to center. Keep your hands together. The elbows are out to the side. And I want you to think about your hip points. So your right and left hip points. I want them to be facing forward this whole time. So try to really anchor your sits bones to the chair. Inhale and grow tall in your spine. And as you exhale, just turn your torso, keep the hips forward and turn to the right. And as you turn to the right, keep that right hip forward. I don't want you to go with your eyes. I just want you to go with your torso. Twisting and then come back center. Right, we're gonna do it to the left. So now, gotta make sure that that left hip bone stays forward as you twist to the left, right? So keep that left hip forward and just feel that twist. You wanna feel it in your upper spine, your thoracic spine, not your lumbar spine. And that's why we keep the hips forward. And then exhale, come back down through center and bring your arms down by your side. Awesome. All right, we're gonna do some forward folds and everybody is different, right? So we're gonna do some complete forward folds, but we're gonna start halfway. And if you need to stay at that halfway mark when we go all the way down, that's fine as well. So arms are down by your side, you're gonna turn your palms out Inhale the arms straight up, drop the shoulders, feel the sit bones connected, turn the palms out and come forward with your heart. Keep your head, your head and your heart lifted, right? Your belly comes to your thighs. Now see my arms, they're gonna go back like airplanes and I'm not gonna look up anymore, but I'm gonna look at the floor, right? And then I want you to take your arms that are back like airplanes, Swing them forward and let them pull you back up. And we're gonna do that again. Turn the palms out. Exhale, inhale to start. Exhale, forward fold, belly to thighs, chest to thighs. The arms go behind you like airplane and airplane wings and you're looking at the floor. 
Sweep the arms down, around, and let them pull you back up. And one more time, just like that. Turn the palms out, swan dive down, belly, chest down to the thighs, arms go behind you, you're looking at the floor, and then push the arms down, around, and up. All right, now we're gonna go all the way down if you can. If you can't, you can just go halfway. So swan dive, same process. Bring the belly, the chest, and the arms down. And now arms come all the way down. So you can bring your arms down to the mat. You can bring your arms down to the tops of your feet. You can bring your, your hands, sorry, your hands to your knees, right? Wherever they reach. But the difference here is now we're going to let go of the head. So we're going to drop the head down. The top of the head is reaching toward the floor. But I want your hands to be connected to something. So if they can't reach the floor, maybe the knees, maybe the shins. Drop your head down. So it's, it's almost like you're emptying out the top of your head. Shake it, yes. Loosen your neck. Really let it go. Shake it, no. Do that again, shake it yes, shake it no. Now, bring your hands to your knees wherever you are, tuck your chin to your chest, pull your navel toward your spine, and come up slowly, pushing down on the knees, one vertebrae at a time, and let the head come up last. Do that really slowly. And we're going to try that again. If you got dizzy when you came up, come up slower than me. Come up really slow. Palms out to the side. Inhale the arms up. Exhale the swan dive. Come forward with your heart. Belly comes to thighs. Chest to thighs. Head reaches down toward the mat. Hands drop to floor, to tops of feet, to shins, or to knees. Shake your head yes again, and shake your head no. Take your right hand in between your feet and your right elbow inside your right knee. Swing the left, don't, sorry, don't swing. Take the left hand to the left knee and push down on that knee as you spiral your heart open to the left. And look toward the left. Twisting in the spine. And then exhale, come all the way back down. Take your left hand in between your feet, your right hand to your knees. Push down on that right knee and spiral your heart open to the right. More inhale. And exhale. The heart. Come down to center. And now with the your hands on your knees, you're going to drop your chin to your chest, pull your navel to your spine, slowly come up, keep the head down, come up one vertebrae at a time. Lift your head, and at the top, lift your shoulders up, back, and down. Awesome. All right. We're going to do a forward fold one more time. Forward folds are really good for the spine. They're really good for your brain. All right. So again, hands down to the side. We're going to add on here. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, swan dive down. Hands down to the floor. Take the right hand in between the feet. Lift the left arm up toward the sky and open toward the left. If you can, if you can't, you can do what we did before. One more deep breath in and exhale, bring the left hand down in between the feet and the right arm lifts up on the inhale, open the heart to the right. One more inhale and exhale. Right arm comes down. Now we're going to just swing our arms opposite swan dives, right? So swing them up. Let it pull you up to the top. Hands come together and pull that down. Your heart. Awesome. 
Awesome. All right. And just take a couple of deep breaths as we transition to weights. So grab your weights. Grab your weights, grab your straps, whatever you have. And of course, you know, you can do this without any weight. So right now I have three pound weights. I would start out with one and go up to two and then three and your goal should be five pound weights. That should be your goal. All right, so sitting toward the front of the chair, again, find mountain pose so that your feet are connected, your, your um, knees and thighs are hip distance apart. Bring your arms down by your side, let the weights pull them down, turn your palms out, tuck your elbows in. We inhale to start and we exhale, Bend at the elbow, squeeze in, and use our bicep curls. Inhale to open, keep the contraction of the muscle, exhale, squeeze. Keep the elbows tucked, inhale, exhale, squeeze the muscle, not the fist. Inhale, and exhale, squeeze. Inhale, and exhale, squeeze. Inhale, and exhale, squeeze. We're gonna do two more, that'll be 10. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Now bring it all the way down. Let the weight pull your arms straight. We're gonna inhale and come up quickly, and then we're gonna slowly come down for three, two, one. Look at my hands, I'm hardly holding the weight. Come up, squeeze, down slowly, three, two, one. Up and squeeze the bicep, slowly release, three, two, one. Come up and squeeze, that's four, two, one, five, the elbows tucked, three, two, one, six, three, two, one, seven, three, two, one, eight, three, two, one, nine, One and the last one, 10, three, two, one. Keep your arms down, let the weight pull those arms nice and straight. Now I want you to turn your palms in and we're gonna get up off the chair for this one, all right? So this is what it looks like, don't do it yet. It's a hammer curl, hands come to the shoulders, and then it's a shoulder lift. So we come up, lift, we come down, the elbows always face forward, and then we sit and reverse. Now you can do this seated, and you can do it with me getting up and down, whatever you like. Ready, go. Hammer curl, shoulder lift, down, and reverse. Hammer lift, Hammer curl, shoulder lift, down and reverse. That's two, make sure that seat is behind you. Up, down, reverse. Four, lift, squeeze your glutes on the lift, down and reverse. If you're seated, it's fine. Five, lift, down and reverse. Six, lift, down and reverse. Reverse, seven, lift, squeeze, down and reverse, eight, lift, down and 
reverse. Nine. Lift. Down. Reverse. And the last one. Ten. Lift. Down. And reverse. All right. When I say keep the elbows tucked, I don't want you to be doing this. I don't want your elbows out to the side. I want your elbows in like this. Okay. All right. Now we're going to do 10 hammer curls by themselves. So elbows tucked up and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now bring it up, hand weights to shoulders. And we're going to do some shoulder lifts. Ten of those. Ready? Lift and lower. Elbows forward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come down slowly with control. Eight, nine, last one, ten. And down. All right. Take your arms, turn your palms out to the side. And we're going to do some bicep curls. We're going to work a different part of the bicep. So sit up tall. Inhale to start. Exhale, curl. And come down slowly for three, two, one. Lift, squeeze. And exhale slowly. Inhale, sorry, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one. 10, three, two, one. Arms down by your side, let the weights sort of pull you. You can shift from one side to the other. Sitting up, let that be a little break for you. All right, so now you're holding onto your weights or your strap and your arms are straight down by your side. Your palms are facing the back of the room. You're going to inhale and lift up your right arm to shoulder height. Exhale it down. Left arm up. Hold it. Exhale down. Let's do that again. That's one. Lift up to shoulder height. Exhale down. Up. Hold. Exhale down. That's two. Three, four, straight arm, five, pull the navel in, let your four hold your spine straight, six, seven, Eight, nine, that's one, and that's ten. Awesome. All right, we're going to add something here, right? So bring your feet out just a little bit more, a little bit forward, a little bit more. They're still hip distance apart. Then I want you to sit up and come forward on the diagonal. Drop your arms down by your side. And then we're just going to lift up, bend the elbows back, and then bring it down. Up, bring the elbows back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then straighten the arms. Lift up, squeeze, and down. Three. Four, let me show you sideways. Five, 
five, six. Come up, squeeze the shoulder blades. Eight, nine, the last one is 10. Great. And our last exercise, arms are down by your side. We're gonna come forward again. We're gonna bend the elbows all the way. Bring our shoulders, our elbows back. So we're sitting forward and diagonal. Shoulders are down, elbows are back, squeezing together the shoulder blades. Going to extend and just bend the forearm. Keep the elbow out to the side and up. Extend and bend. Three, squeeze your tricep. Four, five, six, seven, squeeze it at the top. Eight, feel the tricep, that's the muscle on the back of the arm. Good for eight, nine. The last one is 10. We're gonna hold it out and we're gonna turn our palm toward the ceiling. We're just going to pump for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pedal down. You can put your weights down. We'll stretch before we do our second set. So take your right arm out to the side, back behind you a little bit on the inhale. Exhale, draw it in. Pull it in toward your heart. Drop that shoulder, make a fist, and roll your wrist. And roll it in the opposite direction. Then lift that right arm up. Palm faces the back of the room. It goes in between the shoulder blades. Take the left hand to the right elbow. Pull back on the elbow and hinge over toward the left, pushing down on that right sits bone. Feel that stretch under that right arm and all through the right side. And then inhale back to center, bring both arms down. Take the left arm out to the side, pull it behind you. Inhale to start, exhale, pull it in, draw it in towards your chest, make a fist, roll the wrist. Pull in the opposite direction. Then inhale that arm up, turn the palm to face the back of the room, bring it in between the shoulder blade, keep that left elbow lifted, right hand pulls it back, and you hinge over toward the right, and feel the whole left side stretch. Pushing down on the left sits bone. And then come back up, palms down, and we're going to go through all of those exercises again. However, we're going to go much quicker since we're warmed and you know them now. 10 sets of everything. Starting with the biceps, get your weights, turn your palms forward, tuck the elbows, inhale to start, exhale to lift and squeeze, and down. Two, and down. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring it all the way down. Turn your palms in. Feet on the mat. We're going to do a hammer curl, shoulder lift, down. And reverse to lift down, reverse, squeeze at the top, three, lift down and reverse. Four, you can do the seated if you want. Five, six, 
seven, eight, straight up, down and reverse, nine, straight up, down and reverse, last one, 10, up, down and reverse. And now we're gonna do 10 hammer curls, one, Squeeze at the top, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now bring it up to your shoulders, palms still facing in, and we're going to do shoulder flips. One, elbows facing forward, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring it all the way down. And now turn your arms, your palms to face the side of the room. Tuck the elbows in. Gonna lift and squeeze and come down with three, two, one. Lift, three, two, one. Three, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Five, three, two, one. Six, three, two, one. One, seven, three, two, one, eight, squeeze at the top, three, two, one, nine, with control down, and ten, three, two, one. All right, now let your arms hang down, arms are facing the back of the room. We're going to inhale, right arm forward, exhale down left and down. That's one. We're going to do ten. Straight arm. Two. With control and no swinging. Three. Lift. Lift. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. All right. Now I want you to bring your feet out a little bit more forward, more in front of the knee, not too far. And then I want you to come forward on the diagonal. Keep your heart lifted. Bend the elbows slightly. You're going to lift the elbows up like you're squeezing your shoulder blades together. And then bring it down. Lift this for your back and lower. Squeeze your shoulder blades and lower. It's three. Four. Five, look about three feet in front of you on the floor. Don't hyperextend your neck. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. All right, keeping this position, bend the elbows, bring the shoulders, the elbows back. Sideways, you can see, shoulders back. And now extend just the forearm and bend. Two, squeeze the tricep and bend. Keep the elbow lifted. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, hold it out, turn the palms to face the ceiling and pump for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one. Sit up tall and come back to the front. You can put your weights down. And now bring your arms out to the side, open up the heart, inhale. And as you exhale, it's like you're hugging a beach ball and then go beyond that. Hug yourself as tight as you can. Tuck your chin to stretch out the back of your neck. And then open and the opposite arm on top. Give yourself a big hug. Drop the chin. Sit up. Awesome. All right. Very good. All right. So moving on to legs. Before we do that, let's take our hands behind our back, interlace them at the small of your back. Open each shoulder behind you and then draw that fist down to the chair, pulling your navel and draw the fist behind you. Feel the stretch of your shoulders, your shoulder blades coming together, your arms are nice and straight behind you. And then Please bring your arms down by your side. Inhale the arms forward, flip the palms, bend the elbows. Take the right elbow over the left. You can double twist if you want, or you can take your hands to your shoulders. Inhale, lift the elbows up and exhale. Squeeze them into your chest and then roll yourself down. You should feel really good in your lower back. And then inhale back up, open an opposite arm on top, double twist or hands to shoulders. Inhale, lift the elbows up, feel your shoulder blades moving away from each other, and then bring it down, squeeze the chest and just roll yourself down like a, like a rolly bow. Feel the bottom of the spine as it makes room in between the vertebrae. And then inhale back up. And arms come down on your side. Awesome. All right. We're going to work on the legs seated and then we're going to stand up. So, sitting up nice and tall. Let's try to put all of our concentration in our legs. We're going to start off by concentrating on the thighs, so the quadriceps and the hamstrings. So with a flex foot, lift your right knee straight up, take your hands, interlace them, bring them to your shin, let that leg hold the arm straight. As you inhale, draw that knee in, and exhale, bring those elbows up to the side. Inhale, straighten the arms again. Exhale, pull the knee in, like you're pulling it in towards your armpit with a flexed foot. Straighten, and one more time. Pull the knee in towards your armpit, elbows out to the side. Flexed foot. And then take your hand, your right hand to your right knee, and just, you're not using your hand, you're just sort of guiding the knee in a circle. So you're really letting the strength of your muscles move that leg. So you're circling out for a couple and then reverse it and circle in. Just guide it. And then bring that foot down. Up to the left. Lift the left knee straight up with the flex foot. Interlace the hands at the shins. That knee, pull the arm straight, inhale. Exhale, pull the knee in toward the armpit with a flex foot, elbows out to the side. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, pull the knee in. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, pull the knee in. And then inhale, straighten a little, using the hand just to guide the knee. Make some circles going out, lubricating that hip joint flexed foot, and then make some circles coming in. And then come back 
back from center, pull that knee in, and place it down on the floor. All right. This way, a little bit more room. All right. Now lift the right knee again. This time, interlace the hands at the back of the thigh. Pull that knee again in toward the heart, elbows out to the side, the knee as close as you can get. See if you can keep that knee in toward your chest as you straighten your leg as best you can. Point your toes and flex them back. Point and flex and point and flex. Now roll the ankle, roll in the opposite direction, and then pull that knee in again and place that foot down on the floor. Left side, lift the left knee with a flex foot, hands interlaced at the back of the thigh, pull that knee in to your chest as close as you can get it and straighten the legs with a flex foot. Sit up tall, point and flex, point, flex and roll the ankle. Roll it in the opposite direction and then bend the knee, pull it in toward the chest and place it back down. You can grab your weights if you like for this. You don't have to use weights, actually just one. And for just extra added muscle building, you can put the weight on your thigh, right? So wherever you feel comfortable, and you're gonna keep your hand on that weight. You're gonna sit up tall. You're not gonna use anything from the waist up. This is coming just from your legs. So inhale and lift your right knee up, the flex foot, feel that extra weight on you. Exhale it down without touching the ground, keeping the contraction of that muscle, the quadricep. Then you're gonna open it out to the side as wide as you can, really stretch it, and then squeeze it in as if you have a beach ball in between your legs, as if there's resistance. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, open it out to the side, stretch it out, and then again, squeeze it in as if you have resistance there. Lift and lower. Open and squeeze, two more. Lift and lower, open and squeeze, one more. Lift, lower, open, squeeze it in. Put that foot down and put the weight on the left thigh. Sit up tall, everything from the waist up is still. Inhale, lift the left knee up with a flex foot. Exhale it down without touching the ground. Inhale, open it out to the side, facing, you're facing forward. You're not moving with the knee, right? Your shoulders are over hips, so open, and then squeeze it in as if you have resistance there. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, open, exhale, squeeze it in. Lift and lower. Open and squeeze. Lift and lower. Open, squeeze two more. Lift and lower. Open, squeeze it in one more. Lift and lower. Open and squeeze. Awesome. And you can put the weights here. And then come to stand behind your chair. So notice your feet on the floor and their hip distance apart, just as they were when you were seated. Now you're standing in mountain pose. Okay. Again, feel the weight in your heels and the balls of your feet and the arch of your foot. Lift all 10 toes up and slowly place them down and try to keep them wide apart. 
Shoulders or over hips. Hands are down by your side. Turn your palms out. Inhale your arms up. And exhale them down. Awesome. Bring your fingertips to the chair and come all the way up on your tippy toes. All the way up. Stretch your feet. Squeeze your glutes. And then slowly bring your heels down and release your glutes for five, for four, three, two, one. As soon as they reach the bottom, inhale, come all the way straight up. Try not to come forward enough, just straight up. Squeeze your glutes and then come down for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. One last time, come forward on your toes, lift all the way up, squeeze your glutes, slowly release for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Bring your hands to your hips, bend your knees just a little, never lock out those knees, just a little bit of a bend. And we're gonna come up and down 20 times, a little bit faster. We go 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop your heels, shake out your legs. to the left side of your chair so that your right right side of your body is closer to the chair. You can hold on. You don't have to, but if you need to, it's there. Your feet are hip distance apart. You're standing in mountain pose. Take your right leg and, I'm sorry, your left leg and bring it forward. And your left goes back. You're on your toes, and you can hold on to the chair. I want you to straighten that back leg, leg as best you can and bend the left. And then lift the left arm up. Pull your navel toward your spine. Just lean back a little bit. So push back on that right heel. It's trying to reach toward the floor. The left knee is bent, and you're reaching up. It's a little bit of a back bend. And you're just stretching that right leg. And then straighten both legs. Bring the right to meet the left, and then the left comes come together. And then I want you to take that left leg, bring it forward again, bring the right leg back again. And we're going to do the opposite. We're going to bring our hands down toward the chair. We're going to take the right, the left leg, straighten and come up on the heel. The right leg is back, but not as far as it was. And then you're just going to come forward with your heart till you feel a stretch through. I'll go sideways so you can see. Stretch through the hamstring. Stretch. Use your chair. Breathe into that stretch. One more breath. And then place that foot down, bend the knee. Back to the side of the chair. So we can back. Here. All right. Let's go to the right side of the chair so that the left side of the body is now closer to the chair. And holding on if you need to, you're going to take your right foot and bring it forward and your left foot, bring it back. Now you're on the toes of your left foot, this way, and your right knee is bent, okay? So you can bring your hand to your uh, waist, you can bring your arm up. 
We're going to really push back on that left heel, draw it down toward the floor, and the right knee is bent. And you're going to lift up and maybe just a little bit back. Just feel that stretch. Different kind of stretch in the back of the left leg. Bend in the right knee. One more deep breath. And then straighten the right leg and bring the left to meet it. All right, and then on down. Now, you're going to take the right leg, bring it forward, the left leg back. You can use your chair. Sideways, right leg forward, left back. Not as far as it was before. And then, you see my feet. Right, left. Now, straighten that right leg and come up on the heel. Keep your hips in alignment. Lift your heart and just come forward. I want you to feel it back here. So you adjust your legs the best way for you. Feel the stretch. It should feel really good. And then place that foot down, bend the knee, lift yourself up. Awesome. All right, let's all come back to the seat. One more stretch and then we're done. Lift the right knee up. Take the right ankle over the left knee. Keep that right foot flexed. Arms are down by your side. Give it a little push open. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, bring your heart forward. So you're not bending in, right? You're keeping the heart lifted and you're just floating your heart forward a little bit. It's about an inch or so. And you'll feel it in through the whole right hip. That foot, breathe into it. Back off a little bit on the inhale, exhale. Try to come forward a little bit more. Just hold it where you feel the stretch and breathe into that tightness. On the exhale, feel it beginning to release. Let it go. And then come back up. Take your left hand to your right knee. Take your right hand. Behind you, inhale, straighten, exhale, shoulder. One more inhale, and one more exhale, twist. And then come back to center, bring the right foot back, lift the left knee up, left ankle over the right knee, give it a little push. Inhale, arms come up, heart stays lifted. Flex that foot and float your heart forward. Keep the heart lifted. Breathe into the tight left hip. Inhale, maybe back off a little bit. Exhale, float forward more. Just breathe into the tightness. Just let that breath go right where you feel you're holding on and let the breath loosen and release. And then inhale back through center, take the right hand to the left knee, the left hand behind you, inhale, lift, and exhale, twist and look over that left shoulder. And Center, bring both feet down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Find a comfortable position in your seat. Close your eyes. Find your breath. Breathe in through the nose, breathe out through the nose. Feel your muscles releasing, relaxing. Breathe in. 
gratitude. Thanks to your body for all it does, all it continues to do every day. And thank you all for taking the time today to do something good for yourself. I'm going to stop the recording.